Alright, hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to get T-Flight Server uh, running on your Voxel 2 with the new and improved uh, YOLO V8. So, I am running uh, VMware, running Ubuntu 22.04 as you can see. And so, I'm going to make sure that my Voxel 2 is connected. And so, I'll run ADB shell. And we'll see that I'm on the newest SDK, 1.4.1. I believe on 1.3.5 or higher, YOLO V8 is defaulted on the Voxel 2. So um, that means if you're running an SDK before this, you're gonna have to build it yourself and flash it on there. So let's check my services, Voxel inspect services. And what I'm also gonna do is move my face up here. Services, and so we'll see that uh, I have pretty much everything running that I need to other than T-Flight Server. And so I'll do a voxel inspect cam dash A, and you'll see that I have my high res camera running. And so if I were to open up the IP address of my drone on just a regular Chrome instance, we should see that voxel portal showing. And if I go to small We'll see that I'm right there. Hello, everyone. Cool. So that is good to go. And now to run T-Flight Server, all I do is I type in voxel configure T-Flight, just like that. I say one because I want to enable the factory defaults. I hit one again to enable. And then you'll see now that I have this option of what I can select from. I can do YOLO v5, which is what used to be the default. I have YOLO V8 now, YOLO V8 Custom, and then YOLO V11. Now, YOLO V11 currently does not support GPU or DSP, so it will basically throttle your CPU. So I recommend not using this right now, but YOLO V8 does leverage GPU acceleration, so it's quite efficient. So I want regular Coco data set, so I'm just gonna select seven, hit enter, and then I want my high-res cam, so I hit one, enter again, and now I'm gonna check my config file to make sure that I'm running everything on the right pipe. So you'll see, yep, high res, small color. I'll check voxel inspect services again. Oh, and we look at that, T-Flight server is good and going. So now I'm gonna bring back voxel portal. I hit cameras and I go to T-Flight. There I am, person, mouse. It's my keyboard, but it's not a remote, but you know, if I maybe do this, there we go. Cool. So if you want to run your own custom um, instance as well, there's really good documentation on the Modal AI website for YOLO V8 custom model. So let me get there. YOLO V8 custom data, that's perfect. So. This is on the Modal AI documentation website, but we have a guide on how to train YOLO V8 for Voxel 2 right here. You click on that, and so pretty much you're going to follow this to the T. Um, and more or less what this will require is that you have an NVIDIA GPU on whatever computer you're training on. Um, you have Docker, and more or less this will train on whatever data set you have, and then it will pretty much output the .t flight file uh, that will be required to load to your Voxel 2. Once that's done, you would just do like an ADB push of your file to here, or you would SCP it over, and then you would do the same thing as before, Voxel configure T flight, right? One, one, and in this case, you would hit eight, and it asks for the name of your YOLO V8 model. So, um, in my case, I usually label my files the same, um, so that way I don't have to go edit any Voxel T flight code. So if you ch if you were to put in your own file, like custom file dot T flight, basically, and then you you know custom file dot txt, and then hit one again, you would actually have to edit the source code to basically take into consideration the naming convention of this new If you were to, you know, ls on user bin dnn, and you were to label your file the exact same as YOLO v8 float 16, aka you're overriding the Cocoa dataset with your own custom dataset, 
and you don't need to go update anything in the uh, in the source code. So right, you do voxel configure T fight server one one eight. You'd put in that, and then we'd look at what the name of your labels would be. So in our case, YOLO v5 labels that test. I'm going to use that as an example. One again, and so now it would work with your custom model as long as it's labeled YOLO v8 float 16, and you won't have to set any of any of the. Uh, you don't have to change any of the source code. Um, one other thing to note is when you're pushing your custom T fight file and custom text file to the voxel 2, it should be pushed to this directory, user bin DNN. All right, so that is how you get T flight server running on the voxel 2 with YOLO v8 for the Coco dataset and for your own custom. If you have any questions, I'm Zach. Feel free to reach out to me through the forums on Motorola AI, or you can send me an email. Anyways, thanks everyone. Bye.